Hi everyone, this is Mario Sixty Four Masters here. Basic tutorial I'm giving you today, just to show you a few general tips of Mapping Sixty Four, and some answers to frequently asked questions. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to show you is something that I've been asked by like a fair few new Tazers. First, you want to get your emulator up. And what this is, is continuing a Taz that you've already made. And this is really easy, like, basic stuff. You'll get the hang of it. So here's just the Taz I've made. And let's play it back, you all know how to do this, I'm assuming. If you don't, go to Bob Mario 5 on ones tutorial, he has a good tutorial on using movement, I believe. Alright. So here's my Taz. And it's, that's it. Okay, so at this stage, I might be thinking that I don't want to wall kick on that left wall there. So I may think, oh no, how am I going to continue this tears once I've stopped recording? But the answer is very simple. Play back your tears. And make a save state from where you want to record from so that's here so I'm making a safe set while playing back the Taz okay and now if you just keep playing it'll just play the Taz normally but here's the thing when Mufin is playing back a Taz it's technically recording it at the same time like it's re just record recording what you've already done in case you make any um, changes to it and you know how save states work in Mupin when it's recording? If you load a save state, it'll delete all the inputs it recorded after you made that save state. And because I made that there, just while it's playing back, you don't need to start recording again or anything. Just while the movie is playing back, just load the save state you made. And it'll bring you back there. And as you can see, it's still recording. But look, I have control. You're recording the Taz again, just you've still got the other stuff. So I'll just make a basic Taz here. And then you just do what you want. Do, I don't know, you don't want to do this, blah blah blah. Maybe do a quick turn or something here. And then you're done. Basically, just finish anything. And then, just another good tip here: when you finish your towers, just let it record over a little bit. Just because Moopin generally tends to round the frames to like the nearest 50 or something, so it might cut out what you finished. Anyway, so now that I've, you just stop the movie recording, and now here's the results. So you basically change the Taz and it's in the easiest way possible. And you're done. Okay, so I'm going to do it just one more time just so that it's easy to follow. So just open your emulator, choose ROM, browse back the Taz that you want to edit. Play it back to the point that you want to continue it from. Make a save state. While it's playing back, load that save state. And continue. And then to finish your Taz, let it record over 100 frames or 200 frames should be fine. Stop it. Play it back. And you're 
done. And now I'm going to show you how to replace an ST file that goes with the TAS with a different ST. Like, okay, so just for example, in my free run 3, when I was making it, this happened. Okay, when I originally made the TAS, I was going from a file that didn't have the metal cap block unlocked and I wanted to use that for my tails so what you need to do is change the ST file and the ST file is this thing dot ST it'll have the exact same name as the m64 file except with dot ST instead of dot, dot m64 okay so first of all because this is a bad one you want to rename it so that Moopin doesn't use it anymore just bad put something there that is different from this name because Moopin will associate these two together if they've got the same name. Now that it hasn't got the same name, uh, now that it hasn't got the same name as the M64, you can make a new ST. Yay! Okay, now to make a new ST, just find a file that you know has the properties you want. Like I had this file here. I know this works because it's. I've got this is from a file that I had the metal cap block unlocked. So I've basically loaded this by loading, you just go emulation, load as. Okay, now I want to make an, this ST. So you go emulation, save as. And then you want to save it with the exact same name as the M64 file. Okay, see that? Same name. Save it. And now Moopin has that. So now, you go into here, and you got your M64 file, the, the file you originally had, which is bad, and your new file. And your new file, which is the good one, has now got the same name as the M64 file, except with .st. So now, this should work. Don't need to do anything more now, you just play back the movie. And it should play back with the ST used. There you go. Metal cap block is unlocked and the free run continues as if it was normal. Just one other thing you should know. When you um, are making an ST, sometimes like I'll just make one here sometimes when you make an ST like you just go but especially with this level okay when you make one sometimes something like that will happen basically luck has changed and if that happens it can be like frustrating but basically enter, come out of the painting and enter it again and make new STs until you get one that works and yeah because luck changes with the game generally but luck won't change after you've entered the painting so you need to re-enter the painting and make another ST okay so I hope this was helpful just a few tips here for people a new tazzing. Um, while you're making the taz, mainly for Super Mario 64, but this will work for other ROMs, I guess. Just for things like a dive. To get up from a dive, you know that you can use two different buttons to do the same thing. You can use both A and B. So instead of doing this, like what I'm instead of Instead of counting frames and trial and error, basically. Okay, that's what I had to do. I had to count frames. Instead of doing that, you can turbo to get turbo on the button. Instead of um, left click, you right click the button, like that, and it'll just do it every frame. And because there's two buttons you can use, you can get both of those buttons being pressed on alternate frames.
So you turbo, so you go turbo, frame advance, turbo on the other button. And then you've got both buttons being pressed on basically every frame. So you can always have it perfectly. And this isn't just for dives and stuff. This can also work for like selecting a star in a painting. Just for example, like I'll just go start A. And he'll, he'll just select it as soon as he possibly can. And you know it's the first possible frame. It's just, just a few shortcuts and tazzing.